Hello there and welcome back to Midlife Crisis. I'm Cheryl. It has been a very interesting weekend. I'm here in the Fort Greene location. The summer is done with, but we are having an absolute beautiful weekend. I'm smiling today, but it wasn't like that yesterday. A work associate passed away unexpectedly. And believe it or not, today is actually a year that my mother passed. So it has been a very interesting time for me yesterday going to a funeral and then going on to visit my mother's gravesite. For those who have been following me on the channel, you know that my mom passed away last year. So it's a lot of adjusting, but I'm getting by, thank God. I'll be talking a lot about emotions. And so today I'd like to talk about competing, so don't go away, okay? So on the last video, we were talking about controlling emotions, jealousy, and so on. And one of the things that I can tell you I know that envy and jealousy goes hand in hand with competing. So if you want to find out if someone's having a problem with you, the best way to identify that issue is to see whether or not that person is competing with you. And you know what's funny about this emotion is that it's not biased. Like it can come from a friend, a family member, co-workers, it is ridiculous. What I have noticed is that for some reason it is rampant amongst women. Not to say that it's not going on with the others, but it is more rampant amongst women. And I think competing really happens when you don't have a sense of self. Now you know that this is something that I talk about all the time and with that we run into issues with envy and jealousy, vindictiveness, and insecurity, these kinds of negative emotions. But the one with competition, it was very obvious when we were in the spike of the pandemic. I mean, competing is an incentive. It's an incentive to make you, you know, to, to have you go after something because at the end of the day, winning, you know, it does something for us. But when you can't come out of that mode, when you are constantly looking around to see who you can compete with, that has something to do with our self-worth, our self-values, our insecurities. It has a lot to do with that. And it is not a healthy thing to be doing. Like I said, in the spike of the pandemic, everyone was kind of running around in survival mode so there was no audience and it was very interesting for my case study because i do that all the time to see that the thrill was gone for the ones that are always in that mode and you know i mean it's just it's it's dangerous and sometimes you don't even know that someone is competing with you but one thing i will tell you is that this competition thing it's not biased it can happen with basically anyone but what I will throw in there is if it's happening in a relationship, you know, with a husband and wife or a partner, then that's something to be concerned about because it could mean some other stuff. Because technically a man should not be competing with a woman. If that's happening, then I would say pay strict attention. You could be running into an issue where this person is having some identity issues so that's another story by itself we're not gonna go there but i'm just saying you know but for the most part to keep yourself centered and healthy you need to be focusing on what your drive is you need to be focusing on on what makes you tick what brings your happiness your peace your harmony it should not be where you're looking to compete with someone to feel good about yourself the minute you start doing that then you're coming short with something. So I would pay attention. For me, I'm always looking to challenge myself. I have a good bit of things that I enjoy doing. And when you're in that mode, where are you gonna find time to compete? So the point is, if you are finding that you're competing with others, or if you're on the other side of that token where you notice someone talking about the things that they have that they know for a fact that you don't, then that is a clear giveaway 
that that person is trying to compete with you. Being in that mode in a constant basis is a very unhealthy disposition and it says a lot about the individual. Outside of that, I hope that you are enjoying the weather. I don't know what part of the world you're in, but I am trying to squeeze every little part out of it. We are in September. We are still getting great weather. In no time at all, it'll start getting cold in the New York area. So I am just trying to enjoy the best of it. Check us out at midliferises.com and do subscribe to the channel by clicking on that bell icon so you'll be notified of our weekly videos. I'll be covering a good bit of stuff in emotions. So if you can, stay tuned, okay? And we will see you next time. Take care now.